that would make this my first concert t-shirt. It's an Aerosmith shirt from the Just Push Play Tour 2001. Uh, I think I got dates on the back. I should have checked this before I put it on. And honestly, this shirt fits the best of, I think, any of the shirts I will be wearing in this whole series. Uh, my mom went to an Aerosmith show, I think either the year before or the year after, that included Kid Rock and Run DMC on the bill. Uh, I went to the one that included The Cult. Um, I wish I remembered what any of that the concert was, but again, this was, this was 2001. Uh, I still have Just, Pu Just Push Play uh, on CD, and uh, it's very okay. 2002, my mom takes me to go see Bonnie Raitt. At some point, I claim that this is the second best ever concert I went to in some sort of like school paper. I don't remember the show uh, at the time. It must have been great. Uh, years later, my, I find out that my father-in-law has the same exact shirt and he wears it much more often than I do. I don't know if Silver Lining is the album that she was promoting or... I'll have to do some research on, on Bonnie. Second best concert I ever went to. So we've got a really interesting trifecta here. The next three shows I went to uh, started out with, with Joe Cocker, uh, and then we went backstage, and we didn't get to meet Joe Cocker, but I did get a hat. Um, after that was Matchbox 20. Uh, this, was a, this was a light, like to replace a lighter, I guess, when you, when you sing your ballads. The other people on that show, uh, it was Matchbox 20, Sugar Ray, and Maroon 5, uh, believe it or not. Um, and then, then, my mom, in 2003, went to, I think, four Bon Jovi shows and took me to one at Giant Stadium on the, uh, on the Bounce Tour. So that's my bandana. I never wore it as a bandana. I had it on my wall in my bedroom. Uh, you can imagine nobody is as cool as a boy with a Bon Jovi bandana attached to his wall. I also got these uh, Tico Torres drumsticks that I used to drum with all the time. I actually still, I, I just liked them because they were black. They were one of those things that is like not supposed to, you're not supposed to drum with, but I did anyway. So my Chico Torres drumsticks are, are also here, and uh, they're beating up. That Bon Jovi show, Jason Mraz and Pete Yorn opened. Jason Mraz. Nice. 